media ed pompes shiwore nnam de kano with boko aram gaba shewu official spokesperson to president muhammadu buhari has categorized mr omoyele shiwore convener of hashtag revolution now mazi nnam de kano leader of ipop and the dreaded boko aram militant as same people according to mr shewu who was reacting to the news of rearrest of shiwore by the dss the movement formed by the later might escalate into something big, hence the DSS needs to detain him. She will also said, same way the Boko Haram militants justify their movement, that is also that is also same way Shiwore sees is. He noted that Nigerians do not need another spate of lawlessness and loss of lives all in the name of revolution. The presidency notes some of the insinuations in the media about the rearrest by the Department of State Services, DSS, of the agitator, Omo Yele Shiwore. The DSS does not necessarily need the permission of the presidency in all cases to carry out its essential responsibilities that are laid down in the Nigerian constitution, which was the foundation for the restoration of democracy in our country in 1999. However, it should not surprise anyone who has followed his actions and words that Shiwore is a person of interest to the DSS. She will record for a revolution to overthrow the democratically elected government of Nigeria. He did so on television and from a privileged position as the owner of a widely read digital newspaper run from the United States of America. He founded an organization, Revolution Now, to launch in their own ways, Days of Rage, with the publicized purpose of fomenting mass civil unrest and elected administration's overthrow. No government will allow anybody to openly call for a destabilization in the country and do nothing. Mr. Shiwore is no ordinary citizen expressing his views freely on social media and the internet. He was a presidential candidate himself who ran and lost as the flag bearer of African Action Congress, AAC, in the February 23rd general elections. Nigeria's democracy was a long time in the making and was achieved after decades of often harsh military-led overthrows of the government, the kinds of situation Shiwore was advocating. To believe in and desire harmed revolution is not normal amongst human rights activists, as Shiwore has been incorrectly described. Again, it is no surprise that the that he should be a person of interest to the DSS. Nigeria is already dealing with an insurgency that has left millions of people displaced and desperate in the northeastern region of her country. The Boko Haram militants who are behind the violence also fancy themselves to be fighting for some sort of revolution. Nigerians do not need another space of lawlessness and loss of lives all in the name of revolution, especially not one that is orchestrated by a man who makes his home in far away New York and who can easily disappear and leave behind whatever instability he intends to cause to wit Namdekano. This is a matter for the DSS acting under its powers, which he concluded. And so, guys, um, this thing has really been uh, going on, has been tre trending. You know, there was a time, too, that this man was trying to relate uh, or compare Afeni Ferry or Hanezi with uh, Mieti Hala and Fulani Esme. Mieti Hala, yeah. And the social cultural group came out and said, you can never do that. That these people, they have their own... Uh, agenda why must you compare us with them it's always fun of doing that you just to get at people because now he, he says uh, if uh, anything happens if shiwari must have caused the problem and that his, his place is far away in the what in in new york that we might run down there so have they been able to pin anybody has anybody do we have a face in uh, in boko haram that is comparing these people and in nam de can really can we really pinpoint a face in Boko Haram. No, we cannot. Every day they will say they have killed uh, whether Shekarawa or Bishikawa or whatever. They don't know. Nobody knows that person. Nobody knows this. Nobody, he does not have a, 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 we don't have a particular leader that you can say, oh, he has children, he has family and all of that. Okay, if really he's comparing Showare and Inam de Kano with, a, with a Boko Haram. Now, Showare has wife, he has a children and recently we see that if really is a terrorist, he has a wife that, you know, that people can be points, people can feel, people can touch, people can relate with. And now the wife has already gone to the uh, United States government. 
which they are really handling the case because of this Shiwore matter. So if you are comparing that kind of person to to Boko Haram with US government, with other governments with you know associating themselves with such people, you think before they came out by by saying they want to they are going to make sure that the the husband of uh, their citizens and the father of the, and one of their citizens, you know, is being uh, heard in the custody of the DSA, that they will do all manner of things, everything, they will go out of their way to make sure that the man is out of the detention, illegal detention that the DSA is keeping him. If really, he's really the same, he's fighting the same cause. And the people, everybody has come out to say no, even the, from the government of the US, the whole world is saying, no, this man is just causing, calling for good governance. He's just making sure that Things are working well because the government is not doing the right thing. I don't know whether these people think uh, if they are, if they can be deceiving Nigerians, if Nigerians cannot stand up to them, they think every other person outside Nigeria will fall for all these their, yeah, all these their yeah, shenanigans, all these their, yeah, I don't even know how to put it, all these their yeah, deceits, all these their yeah, lies. They will just come bring together. They will just read the, read the rhetoric and think everybody will believe it. Of course, it's not even everybody in Nigeria they can tell that. Uh, uh, cock and boo stories and will believe you for the fact you have opportunity to be spokesperson and you, you are making whatever thank god for social media everybody's coming out to say their own uh mind what they feel so if they think they can they can deceive some gullibles uh gullible nigerians by believing all of these things that you are comparing nam the kano the same nam the kano you think uh, uh you are comparing to boko haram Im nam the kano has been moving from one country to another from one country to another, and he has been meeting who is who in this uh, uh, old world, and yet they, they are still associating with him. Can we say of a fact that we have a leader in Boko Haram that has children, has wife, that is going around, that you can see, you know, who can attach the face to a particular person? What are we talking about? So these people will just be talking as if uh, other people don't even have a, a sense of reasoning. So comparing them is not even the case. And what Shore is talking about, if they know it, they are just trying to twist everything. That is just my opinion. They are just trying to twist everything and they can deceive those who they want to deceive. You can't deceive everybody. So now, and they are saying that is the reason why DSS should continue to hold Shore. So now they are confirming that the DSS has already rearrested Shore based on what? They are talking of democracy and yet they are not in line with democracy. When, and the president has come out to say, through this garbage here that the president does not have any um any affiliation or does does not give directives to dss on what to do because they have power to do whatever they want to do and they are deem it fit to arrest your so they should count the president out if you are saying that when the dss uh, uh disobeyed court order did you do anything did you make statements did you come out to say no you are not supposed to do that not until when they were given 24 as ultimatum to release Shore. So what happened before then? Two court orders that they disobeyed. Did you come out to say anything? You didn't say anything. Did you know any? Did you uh, uh, know anything about a, a, a democracy? Did you, did you say that oh we are in a democratic uh, dispensation or era that the DSS should obey court order? Did you make any statement concerning that? Now you are trying to exonerate yourself and to put on, 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 upon injury. You are saying you are comparing Boko Haram as if you don't know what IPOP stands for. Of course they are. Immediately, they quickly proscribe IPOP, and the whole world knows the reason why they, uh, the reason and why what the uh, IPOP is agitating for. The whole world knows, and the question I've been asking: if really uh, Nam De Kano is what they proscribe him to be, and the group, why is it that they've not been able to arrest him? Can Boko Haram leader be moving around, or can you say, oh, he has wife, he has children? So they should stop all this deceit. They can continue because they know that majority of Nigerians. We fall in for all of this is because of sentiment, because of a, a loyalty, because of a party affiliation, because of religion. Those people will believe them. It's just few people that will say, no, you cannot tell us cock and boo stories. So relating these two people, you know, is very, very unfair and so, so pathetic. And they should continue. They are just embarrassing themselves, in my opinion. That's just the way I see it. So, and some people are here talking, you know, and... Uh, uh, and airing their own view concerning what the uh, Gaba show the spokesperson has uh, said. Someone say, good one, Gaba. Yes, I know those are the people that are always supporting them. Someone read desperation on the path of presidency. Uh, someone say, comparing Shawaria with Boko Haram, not are deceiving themselves as if the old world are not watching everything. One day, Nigeria will break into pieces. 
uh, in the hand of northern terrorist court leaders. This is his speech. This cow does not even have brain at all. Pig can even think well than this. Can we even call this one human being? Whoever called Gabashi, wow, a human being is satanic. This is one of the evil men destroying this nation and should be whatever, you know, should be taken care of. Shawara is a terrorist that wants to overthrow a duly elected president, our best president for that matter. DSS should please deal with him. He is not above the law. The Yoruba should stop intimidating the president, okay? That's what somebody is talking there. This man is very whatever. The day you will still leave that office, another person will take over from you. Someone say you are wrong. How many people did both bomb, did both bomb uh, and killed? You can be sued for comparing both with the deadly terrorist group. Gaba, you must be whatever, you know. You are not okay for comparing the prophets of God, Mazen Namdekano, to your sponsored terrorists. Gaba Shewu is not knowledgeable enough to differentiate uh, between freedom fighter from a terrorist. She already demanded for a better Nigeria. Gaba eat fat on her task and doesn't know that people are crying. Almighty God will judge you all and inflict pain on Gaba uh, Lawa as he had wanted Nigeria to wallow in poverty. Someone said, what about you? Four of you are there. Is, is that the same? Are they the same? So, you know, people, some people say, oh, Gaba is, you know, has really said the right thing. Oh, she worries this, she worries that, and they believe what Gaba she will have said. But meaningful Nigeria, where many Nigerians will not accept all of this is because you need to be objective. Just look at it, just like I've said my opinion, that how can you compare these two people and uh, these two people with Boko Haram? These people have faith. They have faith, they have children, they have wives, eh, they have wives, they have children, and they are moving from places to places, they are coming out. Can anybody, can it be said, can the same thing be said about Boko Haram, that they will come out and say, oh, this is what, can, we can't know them. They are always disguised, they are always covering their face, they are always carrying ammunition. Have this one, have you see, ever seen uh, uh, guns or ammunition with them? So, all those ones are, all those ones are now washed. So guys, uh, that's my opinion. What do you think about what Gaba Shewa has said? Do you really believe in what he said or... Not let's hear your own take from the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.